right, let's go. Let's round it up. I don't like the shot we keep getting of, of this diapered butt. I had a feeling he can take bullets. If he survived a whole nuclear blast, I don't think your little pew pews are gonna do much. Sugar Laisha, K Geek XX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to Fallout. We're now on to episode two, which is called The Target. So the last episode was the premiere of the show, and it was a lot. <laughs> It was a lot. We got to see, uh, we were introduced to three main characters basically in the show. One being Lucy, who is a girl that was born in the shelters that were formed after what was basically a nuclear apocalypse. And she lived there her whole life, was about to get married, but on her wedding day, it turned out that there was a raid done by these people from the surface who had ill intent and she barely survived it, but she did. But her father was kidnapped and taken to the surface by someone whose name actually just, it eludes me at the moment. Lucy realized that she did not want to sit back and just wait for her father to make his way back if he could make it back at all. So she decided to embark on the journey of a lifetime, but go out to go to the surface and go out and look for her dad. The second character that we were introduced to is Maximus. Maximus looks like he's grown up on the surface. He's part of what I would say is a cult that's called the Brotherhood, where he was a grunt. And basically he's been hoping that he could eventually be selected to be a squire because apparently squires get to go on missions with knights, I think they were called. But anyways, we see that Maximus does eventually get chosen to become a squire and that he gets assigned to a squire, with, or, or sorry, a knight with the name that starts with a T. Can't remember, I just remember the tattoo, or not the tattoo, the brand that he got on his neck. And he looks very happy about finally getting to leave. But we found out about Maximus that he said that he joined the, the Brotherhood because he wanted to hurt the people who hurt him. That's him. He's now off to look for an escaped doctor from a place called the Enclave or the Conclave. Conclave, I think it was, sorry. And this man and his dog have escaped and apparently has got vital knowledge and they want him back. So him and his knight are now going off into the wilds is what they called it to go and look for him. And then the final character we were introduced to was, oh gosh, what did they call him? Oh, I can't remember what they called him. But either way, he was introduced to us at the beginning of the show. It was way back in the 50s when the, the apocalypse first happened. He and his daughter were out there. They were exposed. They were riding on a horse, quite literally, trying to get away from the blast. But it looks like he wasn't able to outrun it. I have no idea if his daughter survived, but he apparently is now called a mutant and it looks like that's something that happened to some of the people that were exposed to the radiation. And uh, now he's off to do God knows what. We're gonna have to find out. So I'm ready to find out more. So let's jump in. Just a reminder that if you'd like to be notified of when I do uploads of this show or anything else you might be watching of mine, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And please do show some love to this video if you're feeling it. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. Is that a womb? Or oh, a puppy womb. Oh, those puppies don't look good. The f really? Oh, this guy. He's been in a lot of shows and he usually plays a bad guy. He was in Lost, right? Yeah, he was in Lost. Guys, I don't like this. No, I don't like it. Please, okay. I don't like it. The Walking Dead has scarred me against, you know, what can happen to these shows with animals. I don't like it. Okay, he's up to something. Behavioral engineering. Mutant. Wow. He's training him. Okay. He really likes that teddy bear, huh? That's cute. Oh, we're escaping. Oh, he's hiding. Okay, right, because he's not supposed to have her. Chip? Okay, are you testing on yourself? I prefer that over the dog, thanks. Ah! Yeah, I'm with the dog, the hell? Injection what? Is he turning himself into a mutant? Yeah, I'm with the dog. The dog's like, oh, hell no. Okay, it's a chip. CX-404. Now he's gonna have to kill you. 
Why are you here looking at things you're not supposed to be looking at? Don't touch. That's right. CX404 said, ain't nobody touching my master. Oh, don't lick me after eating a man. Okay, so escape's not easy. Please remain calm. What? How is good? Who, who remains calm through that? Respectfully, who does that? That's smart with the intro. I like that. That was smart. Okay, so now we know why he escaped. But we don't know the reason, like, what he was doing that was so bad. Other than possibly helping puppies not be incinerated. Do you have water, ma'am? Adequate water? Because this place looks dry AF. I'm seeing dehydration and fever. And you can't drink the water out there. Oh, the baby. Oh, come on. Guess they didn't finish dinner. The pearls still look untouched. Econo Savings, Waltec. What? What is that? Did they poison them? Wait, what? I thought that was because of the blast, but kind of 200 years. Yeah. Who knows? Ma'am, you want to start a fire? You don't know who could be watching. I know that house was creepy, but she probably should have stayed inside that building just for cover. Oh, you're sleeping outside. Wow, you can tell you're new to the world, sis. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, she's a hunter. Oh, hey, okay. Wow, hi. Just watching me sleep, hey, freak? Yeah. Too late for that. He could have hurt you already. Large thorax to ward off attack. Incisors to help ingest larger prey, such as yourself. Yeah, as you slept comfortably in the open. You should know better than to light a fire after dark. Exactly. All dwellers are an endangered species here. You come from a world of rules, of laws. This place is indifferent to all of that. Let her know what's up. Do not think. You would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. Uh, she actually is taking out a few people. You still want the same things when you have become a different animal altogether. Sir, you're hitting with this depth. She's been outside for 24 hours. Who are you? She calls him four. That's cute. Just walks off into the night like the creeper he is. You know what he said about the fire, hey sis? Put it out. Oh. Great. Not the conversationalist type. I think they can put it back themselves. Oh, okay. Oh, I want to shoot something. My lord, we were assigned to search a town called Philly. We're still miles from... You're new here. Wait, why do I have to come too? Sir, why? Kinky. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you're going to fare well out here. Yeah, he's leaving. You wanted the job, kid. It's this or cleaning crap out of toilet or out of tire toilets. Something in there. Cram instead of spam. So if it's not spiced, then what is? Cr Do I want to know what cram is? Never mind. Oh no no no! Bad dog. Do keep up. Okay, so we're in a time thing. He just missed or missed the doctor by a few days. Or scientist. I can't remember if he was a doctor. Don't go investigate. Yeah. See that big caution sign that no one's paying attention to? How about you head back towards the bags? All right. Whatever happens, happens, bro. All I see is hazard. Hazard and caution. You are in a suit. You act supreme. This is 
He clearly wants another squire. Oh, I heard the I heard the the, the shade of that, my squire. Yeah, he don't want you to come out. Damn, this thing's serious. Bro, go get your gun. Really? Are you not in a big exoskeleton? What are you doing? That bear has seen better days. Bro, there's a whole other gun. Why are you just staring? I'd keep going. That thing's huge. Fuck. Oh, hey. Where are you? Huh? Fucking place. There's always something. Of all people. Ruined stupid missions for remnants that turn out to be fucking toast. <laughs> I got a two ton irradiated bear on my back, and you're standing there. He's gonna let you die. You stupid motherfucker. You know this is all your fault. He's definitely gonna let you die now. Lungs and they, uh, they hang you. And this man's not very you. smart, though. Like, this man literally has what you need to survive, and you're giving him attitude right now. Fucking squire, there is. Yeah, you're definitely gonna die. Bye! The romanticized ideal versus the real thing, huh? That's why they say you should never meet your heroes. You think you do? Yep. That's why you don't insult the help. They'll kill you for this. They have to find me first. Okay, Maximus. I don't know what your game is, but I don't blame you. If you someone talking to me like that when my life's literally in your hands, I'm not gonna help you either. I'll take my damn time. Where are your pants? Is he wearing a diapers? Oh, I'm a little lost. Hi. Too close. You got water? No. Oh, uh, would you like to sit? Oh, bless your naive heart. You're never getting that back. Uh, sir, I actually, I might. Ugh. You can have it forever, thanks. You've never been over that. Does he look like he leaves his house much? She had a hand as well. She got killed there once. Once? How many times can one be killed? All right, let's go. Let's round it up. I don't like the shot we keep getting of, of this diapered butt. I'm real sick. I think I'm dying. It's too bad. You wouldn't have to put up with me for too long. Wow, that's that's a new line I gotta try. Wow, thank you for the offer. Thank you. I mean, this plan could work since these guys don't really take their helmets off in front of people, so he can just say that he died. You forgot your bag of stuff. Or is he just learning how to use the suit? He's now entered the Robert Downey Jr. phase of this whole acting adventure where we're only going to see him in headshots. I mean, do we need to get involved? We don't know what happened. I need to hear both sides of the story. Okay, Sheriff, calm down. This guy could be a bad guy. You don't know. I have a really bad day, sir. Toodles. You, sir. Yeah, I feel like that guy, you grabbed the wrong one. That's going to come back to bite you. I can feel it. It's just... The guy was fucking my chickens. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why I said you need to know the whole story. Hello there. No. My name I mean, appreciate it, but you've seen a man in a diaper and another man that could have killed you in your sleep, ma'am. You need to just dial it back a little. Little caution is all we're asking for. Downtown. Is downtown literally underground? Because that's actually funny, if it is. Did I see a sign that said Atomic Cafe? On the nose. Pharmacy, I'm sure. 
I mean, I don't know how a two-headed cow would be helpful. Yeah, I don't know how to be helpful. Oh, it's our friend. What is he waiting for? That's the question. It would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. Not judging you. <sighs> don't imagine there's that many other options up here. Okay, can we get to the point? You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> Not the horse laugh. Is about five foot nine. Lar. A woman in her fifties, I think. Lar. Goes by the name of Oldaver. Not a name you want to say out loud. Took my dad and, and killed And I'm telling you, you're going to go through a whole lot worse if you stay around here. This is her domain. Learn. I know that it can't have been easy for you up here, what with all the murder and, and the dirt. The dirt. That's me. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. And why is that? Yeah. Enlighten her. We're going to... Save America. Just America, huh? And what exactly were you planning on saving? Right? It's been 200 years. 200. And a hole in the ground for rich folks to hide in. Period. While the rest of the world burned. Mm. You know what folks up here say about the vaults? Uh-oh. Here we go. Fuck the vaults. Yeah. Understandable. I really need you to learn how to read a room, sis. Please? You could have asked about your dad 500 minutes, like, seriously. Walked in, said, hey, seen this guy? Yay, night, bye. I mean, bless her. I know she's learning. I'm just hoping she picks up on these things because she's going to get the wrong one very soon. And I mean, I know she can handle herself, but these people are something else. Oh, look at who's here, too. You again. You again. No one understands my situation. Why would they? Come from Vault 33. Your primary crop is corn. You have a telesonic projector in your farm. It loops images of the Nebraskan countryside. That you've never seen. I think I know enough to know. You need to go home. Point made. The ghoul, right? I could not remember the name they gave him. Oh, hi. What's going on? Can we be friends? No? Oh god, and everyone starts going inside, it's not a good thing. When even the freaks are scared. That, that person just here, she was walking and she literally stopped and turned. It's me. A hefty price on the head of a man that fits the description of that fellow right there. Right. About that. That I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Ferris. <laughs> Well, I guess he's not walking out. But you don't get shit if I kill him first. Guess we're gonna see what the ghoul's made of. Uh-oh. Smile's not a good thing for you guys. I think that's probably a good indicator that you shouldn't do this. I mean, he's just breathing through a hole in his face. That should tell you something. Bye, sis. What kind of gun is this? Damn. I had a feeling he can take bullets. If he survived a whole nuclear blast, I don't think your little pew pews are gonna do much. You're wasting bullets. Okay, y'all are not the brightest bunch. Run. And when are you gonna realize you need something a little bit bigger than a regular bullet? Really, Grams? You're lucky he didn't use the big gun on that. Where's the dog? Don't hurt the dog! The dog's just doing what it's supposed to do! Don't hurt the dog! Please, please, please! No! No! Please don't hurt the dog! Okay, he can die now. The ghoul can die. Now, what is that? I think you need something of that size. And he deserves it because the dog didn't deserve that. But, at first glance, your treatment of this man appears unfair. Period. And I'm obliged to intervene. As a person simply trying to de-escalate a conflict, then I'll have to assume of the two of you, you are likely the primary aggressor. Period. I think everyone in this town would agree the force is justified. They're kind of dead, but all right. 
fucking balls. Well, <laughs> hey, she's got balls. You can't. You have to admit, she got brass. Okay, he's looking for a fight. Okay, he got a, the hold of the thrusters pretty quick. But can he fight? Because this guy's not joking around. Knight Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down or be cut down. Oh, you practiced that, didn't you? In the mirror. Now, while you're falling in love, he's reloading. Let's go! I was about to say, you need to use force with this one. Can you tie off his leg or something? He's bleeding out. I'm pissed about the dog still, guys. Well, I'd say come up here and get me, but it's hard to walk He'll just take here. the whole thing down. Oh, the meat. Yeah, it's very meaty. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, no, no. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, I'm her. But she's still watching. I'm like, whoa. Hey, daddy's girl. Oh. I need you. You to graduated from Vault Dweller. My client goes by the name of Lee Moldaver. See, aligned interests. Should have waited for the rest of the sentence. Well, what does Moldaver want with you, Louie? We don't have time for this conversation. You're going to need to move fast if you want to keep your scans. All right. I can do this. Yes, you can. You can do this, sure you can. You are a vault dweller, true to your word. You are a vault dweller, now it's not an insult. Listen, Maximus may be a little bit impulsive, but he's not an idiot. Not a complete one anyway. Going, what are you watching for? This is not a show, let's go! Rule number one. Anyway, keeping him engaged will give them time to escape. Embarrassing. Not the chicken to heal your feet. defiler. Still flying, huh? Nailed it. Jim's limbs. That's horrible. <gasps> He's still alive, you bastard! No, I want the ghoul to die terribly now. Oh, don't pet him now. Don't you dare. What are you doing to him? It better be something to ease his passing, you best. Okay, miracle drug. Oh, shit, it's to track the other guys. I just realized that's a bad thing. That's the only reason he did it. He's still a jerk. By the way, that man wasn't wrong about people dying at Philly. Definitely not the place you want to go. Not these tracks leading to exactly where you are. Jeez Louise. Holy moly. You got any of those stim shots or whatever they were talking about? That's a promise. How? Yeah, you see, I've just taken a cyanide pill. Oh, well, okay. Bye! People are going to come after you. You'll need to move quickly. You can change the future. How? Tell me quickly. Not, not my whole body. Uh, well, I could have taken your foot. Oh, God, no. Uh, sir, do I look like a serial killer to you? Oh, God. It'll be easier if you carry my head. How? You need to start acting like a surface dweller. He did tell you that before. Yes, McLean. How do you know my name? How do you know my name? He knows your mama, doesn't he? Sir. You have the audacity to die after dropping that bit? The way I would resuscitate him just to slap him out. Come on, Moldaver knew who you were too, sis. Put two and two together. There's more going on here. Take a few deep breaths and then, I don't know, close your eyes and saw. Do it quick, like a samurai. Just zoom, just, just quick. Okie dokie. You got this. Wow, that's how we end it. Okay. Whew, okay, guys. Well, that was an interesting episode. We're definitely getting more into the thick of the plot. Like I said, the last episode was kind of, it felt kind of like three different pieces of a puzzle. 
But now we're seeing more of that picture come together in this episode, I think, with actually getting some converging plot lines and, and actually like a streamlined where, you know, where we're going situation. Because in the first one, I was like, okay, I'm not really sure where all this is going yet. But this one definitely felt a little bit more cohesive, at least for me, as far as where we're going. So we, of course, follow Lucy. And she is, as I said throughout the episode, she is very naive and it's it's coming out, right? She's only ever lived underground. She's lived by a certain set of rules. She has no idea what's going on on the surface that I'm guessing that whatever they tell the vault dwellers is probably A, outdated and B, highly hyperbolized as far as what the surface is like. But we've even heard them say and tell them that you can barely live out there, which clearly that's not true because the raiders came in and like they're alive, right? Highly irradiated, but still alive. But anyway, we see that she's making a lot of rookie mistakes, such as just trying to approach people she doesn't know, lighting this fire at night. Even I know that if you're in a place where you don't know where people are or what kind of people are out there, you don't light a smoke, a big giant smoke signal or flame that lets people know for miles where you are. But anyway, sleeping in and outdoors as well when she has no idea what could be around. But anyhow, we see that this doctor, he lets her know that she's going to have to adapt, that if she's going to stay up here and look for her father rather than go back to the vault where she'd be safe, she's going to have to adapt to the surface world, which is much different than what she's used to. And of course, she's not really in taking it yet because I can only imagine it's probably sensory overload already. And she ends up at this town, Philly, and we see that, what's her name? Moldova has a reputation there, which I'm assuming that she probably has a reputation all over California at the very least anyway. And there's a lot of, you know, mindsets against her, right? I said her her big, uh, was it her big Vault 33 uniform is like a shining beacon that she doesn't belong up there. Her being so clean and and healthy, just like that lady said, like, look at you, you've heard, you've got all your teeth, all your limbs, your hair is clean. Like you are literally just screaming that you're not from here. And thus far, no one's messed with you, but it's only a matter of time before someone tries to take advantage. So she tries to kind of warn her of these things. But like I said, there's one, many things Lucy may be, a coward is not one of them. And she's like, look, I, I came out here to find my dad. I'm going to do what I can. And so we see that while she's dealing with that, we go back to Maximus. Maximus is out on this mission with, uh, his name was Titus. And Titus is not giving Maximus much. You know, Maximus is trying to make conversation. Titus is not having it. They get onto the ground and Titus, basically, he actually gets off before where they're supposed to be going for the drop point. And he's like, he just wants to shoot something. He's bored. Now, I personally think that Titus was trying to get his squire taken out. Like, I think he was just like, he didn't want this squire in the first place. It wasn't a squire that he was even supposed to get. And I think he was really planning on Maximus not making it back. But anyways, we see that Titus is actually not the the badass that he looks like he is in that exoskeleton. As soon as this irradiated bear comes out, he literally runs and screams like a little baby at begging Maximus to save him. And really Maximus did that without armor. And so anyways, Maximus figures out pretty quickly that Titus is not what he's envisioned in his mind these these knights to be. And I said this in the last episode that I think that with the childhood memory he has of the first knight he came across is that he's got this mindset that there's these strong, virtuous heroes. And now he's seeing that once the mask came off, it's just a regular old guy, just a regular, regular old guy. I can't remember the name of that actor, but he's been in quite a few things. But anyway, and this guy is, you know, just... He's, he's angry. He's scared. He's like, he's tired. He's like, the, 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 the Brotherhood keeps sending them out on missions, missions to find old technology or to find things that they think are supposed to help whatever cause they're fighting for. But a lot of times it's a lot of danger for very little payoff. And so he's very disillusioned with this whole situation and he's treating Maximus very, very poorly. He's condescending. He's basically dehumanizing him. And Maximus, as we've seen last episode, has got a hell of a temper. There's a dark side in that kid, despite all the smiling and the, and the immature way that he's acting in some ways. I, I definitely feel like there's a dark, that there's a darkness that they're highlighting that's just beneath the surface with him. And anyways, Titus uh, continuously ragging on him. We see that Maximus makes the executive decision that he's not gonna help him, that he's gonna, he sees that he's sick. He needs to have whatever that injection is to help him. And Maximus is like, no, actually I'm not gonna give it to you. You need it, I can give it to you. You said repeatedly that I'm worthless, that I'm useless. All right, let me show you how useless I am. And so he literally sits, in him, sits there and watches him die, telling him you don't deserve to wear that suit. And that's pretty cold when you think about it. Sitting there and actually watching someone suffocate to death in front of you. Like I said, Maximus has got some darkness that I'm a little worried about. 
But anyways, in this case, I'm not sad about this guy dying because Titus was an ass and he was treating him very, very poorly. But also I feel like Maximus is clearly at a, at a breaking point in his life, right? Whatever he was going through back at the camp, we saw that he was getting bullied and, and just looked down on. And now he's in this place where he thinks he's supposed to be stepping up and he's still getting bullied and looked down on. He wasn't putting up with it. So anyway, he lets Titus die and he decides to put on the suit for himself. He's like, you know what? They would normally kill me for letting you die. However, if I bring them back this target, they'll see that there's worth in me and it'll be okay or at least that, that's what he's telling himself so as I said in the episode I think he can pull it off like because it, it would be a minute before anyone would even figure out that it's him but all the same it, like he said if he finds this target and brings it back then he might have a chance of impressing the knights and we saw that he is actually quite smart like when we saw that you know Titus was looking around just being a dumbass we actually saw Maximus being like, okay, he was here. It wasn't long. There was a dog. Like he's actually putting clues together and figuring things out. So like, again, I think Maximus is actually quite smart and resourceful outside of everything else. So I do think he would be able, I think he's definitely going to track down Lucy and her package very soon. But anyway, we see that once he puts on the suit, he's having a little bit of fun with it. And that's why I said he's being a bit childish, a bit immature with it. You know, he's just kind of like reveling in the fact that he's got all this power at his fingertips. And we even see that he goes and decides to try it out on two people that are bickering because he wants to be like that hero, you know, the, even his whole, you know, be well, citizen, and what's going on? Like, he's very much just trying to emulate whatever it is he thinks that knights are supposed to be, even though in that particular case, he picked the wrong side. I mean, in my opinion, because I mean, my, I mean, I guess in this world, there's no laws, but I feel like that person should have been arrested at the very least for that. But anyhow, yeah, so we see that that leads to Maximus eventually following the trail. He goes to Philly and he ends up seeing the well first the target but also the ghoul and we see that he intervenes in that fight with the ghoul and everybody else and it was necessary because the ghoul is superhuman like these mutants they're cl clearly very strong it looks like they're bulletproof or at least that the bullets don't affect them and then they're also resistant to drugs because we see that lucy tried to trank him and he said, there's so many things in my system, sister, that, that this is not going to do anything. So that's what happens. They have their little battle, but his newness in this battle is very obvious. And we see that the ghoul figures it out and manages to basically disable his armor enough to get him off his back. And so that's where Mac Mac Maximus is at now. He's got to figure out how to fix his suit. Although if there's anyone who, who can figure it out, I feel like it's him. And I, like I said, I, I have no doubt he's going to be able to track down Lucy and the ghoul as well, because I think it's a little personal for him now. He seems like the kind of guy that once he gets his teeth into something, he does not walk away from it easily. And then speaking of the ghoul, not the ghoul, sorry. Uh, speaking of the target, we also got to see what happened with the target and why he's on the run. He was working, I guess, that what that conclave is. They were doing some type of testing on animals, <laughs> but I don't know what they were testing for or what they were trying to do. Like they were, they were clearly training some of these dogs, but we saw behavioral, what was it behavioral something? But basically it looks like they're working on trying to control the brain in some way. And who knows what else that they're doing there. But my guess is it's pretty shady business and it's probably stuff that if the masses found out they would not be happy about. But either way, we see that he put an implant into his neck and uh, he trained that dog, number 404. Bless you, 404. He trained him to basically like do all the same things that the other dogs were doing, but basically also be his own personal protector. And we saw, as I said, that he injected some sort of, it looked like a little either a tracking device or a module, something. But he put that right into the back of his head. We don't know what it is, what it does, what it means. They didn't tell us that. But we see that once he got discovered that his dog ended up taking out the guy who discovered him and like literally taking him out. So that's when he realized that he had to leave because he would not be able to explain why he this dog was here, why this man died. Just too many questions. So he took off and left and I guess whatever he was working on, because we saw that the man that got killed was pointing at whatever his work was. It was something he should have been working on, I guess. And so my guess is this is the reason why he's told Lucy to take his head after he chose to take his life is because the chip is still in there. And I guess Moldova is going to figure that out. But either way, uh, he's out of the picture. Like he tried to get to Moldova. I guess I think he was always planning on not making it, though, because we see that he had the cyanide pills with him. But yeah, of course, because of the whole attack of the ghoul, that just came a little faster than I think he planned on. But he says some pretty important things to Lucy before he goes, basically saying that I think that you're the one who can change everything and that you're going to keep your word. And then he reveals the fact that he knows A, what, what vault she's from and B, that he knew her name which she never told him. So of course she didn't get a chance to find out what that, where, where that came from or how he knew 
but it's enough for her to know that there's a bigger picture going on here. So yeah, my predictions from last episode around her mom, I think being someone far more important than we than we know so far, her mom probably still being alive and possibly with Moldova. I think that that might be a thing. And I think that this fallen doctor had something to do with what they were all working towards possibly, but we're gonna have to see if I'm right about that theory. But either way, I think he's got some important information that's in his head, assuming that Lucy cut, you know, low enough and didn't like cut right through it. Let's hope she didn't do that. But yeah, that's his whole story. Very quick arc. Uh, I thought we'd see the guy from Lost a little bit longer, but I guess not, not this time. But we also know that uh, she, yeah, so Lucy now is on her way to Moldova with this head. And we know that the ghoul is in pursuit. He revived the dog with some kind of magic needle. Not sure what was in there, but I'm just glad the dog didn't die because that was, I still don't forgive him for stabbing the dog. And I hope the dog bites him in the balls for it. But anyway, we see that he's using the dog now to track where they're going because that's the best way to use this dog at this point. So the ghoul's definitely gonna be on their trail because at this point he doesn't realize that he's dead. But either way, I'm thinking that he'll still want the head because the head is still part of the bounty. So Lucy's got some fun coming her way. So let's hope she gets them all over first because I don't think that another square off against the ghoul is going to be a good idea. And as I said, at some point, I'm sure Maximus is going to be following suit as soon as he gets that suit fixed. So yeah, interesting episode. As I said, we're starting to get a little bit of a plot. All roads are leading to Moldova and whatever she's up to or whatever she knows. And I feel like by the time all of our parties finally get to her, we're going to find out about the bigger plot and maybe find out that uh, she's maybe not so much the bad guy here. I mean, after all, she didn't actually take out all the people that she could have when she went down to uh, the Vault 33 and she very specifically protected Lucy. So, but yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing where this story takes us. I enjoyed this episode and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.